really disappointed today, man. So disappointed and a bit of a shock, to be honest. Um, obviously, look, Man United fans uh, predicting a very comfortable win here today. But I think what we have learned today is why we have to go with the A-listers. To be honest, it might sound harsh, but it's the truth. Um, a lot of the people in the fan camp said that Oli got it wrong today. He was a bit naive to make so many changes. Now, I don't want to criticise Oli too much because he's been doing fantastically well um, since he's come here. Eight out of eight. And you can't say fairer than that. Um, but I do think, unless he's, unless he's changed it for fatigue or people feeling little niggles, I don't, I don't think it was the right team to play today, especially the front three. Um, and leaving Herrera off the bench today as well. Um, I, I thought, you know, Matic, I would have I left Matic out for Herrera, potentially, you know. Um, and it just didn't work. It just didn't work. And you saw the front three. Lukaku just proved why it's not going to work with him through the middle. And then that mix of matter on the right-hand side, it just didn't work. He came inside. We had no width. Obviously, Martial was a big miss. Um, but it just it just didn't work from the start. Look, Rashford had a very good chance in the first half, which was probably which was the best chance of the first half. And to be fair to Lukaku, it was a decent bit of hold-up play, which we don't normally associate with him. But it was for the chance, and he should take the chance. He should take the chance, and that would have given the whole second half a different complexity. I thought Burnley for the for for most of the of the first half as well were fairly comfortable. We we allowed them to be comfortable. They hurried us on the ball. They pressed us in certain areas. They made it difficult. They made it ugly, which we don't expect anything different from Burnley, and we shouldn't have been too stunned by that. But I think that with the team that Oli picked, it lacked it lacked creation. It lacked more importantly pace, and it lacked direction. Um, and that's where I think it, it kind of went wrong. I think against Arsenal, I think the, the changes were more tailor-made. So, obviously, Bailly coming in for Jones was, was the godsend that needed to happen. Um, and with Lukaku going on to the right, it was a clear tactic. So, obviously, Jesse in, in, into the middle was, was, was working. Um, it, it was clear to see what the plan was with that. And I just think with, with Lukaku going back central and then having Mata there, it just it just killed it. It just it just killed our movement. It killed our pace, and it, and it killed how we stretch teams. It killed it killed our strengths. So I am disappointed with, with that. Um, and obviously, Oli picks the team, and he's picked that team. So I'm not going to be too critical in terms of it's an absolute outrage and why has this happened. I just think he's tried to play a different card, and it's come back to bite him in the ass. I, that's 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 how I see it. It's as simple as that. We've come back to to get a point, which obviously is good considering we're two 0 down. But we shouldn't have to be 2-0 down. I mean, there was a lot of patterns of play today as well that were just like the other guy, you know. Uh, it's been really good under Oli, and, and rightly so. He's, he's got all the plaudits. But today, there was loads of aspects of it where we just we just ran out of ideas. We, we, we couldn't create. We, we were slow on the ball. And Pereira, I, I, I'm starting to feel a bit sorry for him, really. Um, we, we want him to do well. I want him to do well. And we've all been screaming for him to get more game time. One thing is getting more game time, but the other thing is grabbing the opportunity with two hands, and he doesn't seem to be doing that, man. You have to put your hands up and say that he's not, he's not cutting the mustard at the minute. Yes, you can talk about not getting that much game time and his confidence, and I get that, so I'm not going to completely write him off yet because I think there's a player in there somewhere. I just, I just don't think it's going to come out here, to be honest. I, I really don't. Um, it, every time he seems to get uh, an opportunity to impress... It just doesn't quite work. And for, for me, Herrera was such a big miss today. In the games where we've been winning, uh, you know, the standout performers have been your Pogba's, your Martial's, your Rashford's. But in a lot of those games, I've given man of the match to Herrera because he's so instrumental in that midfield. And I think we really missed him today. We missed his, his break-up of play. We missed his discipline. We missed his energy. And also, he gets us on the front foot. You know, he gets us on the front foot. When we, when we, are, when we are in transition, he can take one, two touches and give. He can make things happen. He can do a couple of defence splitting passes. And I think we missed that today. I think Oli will learn from this. I think there's no way he can look at that and be like, I'll go with that again. I'll try that again at Leicester. No, 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 no. Martial was injured today. He said he expects him to be fit for the weekend. For me, he walked straight back into there. Jesse Lingard walked straight back in and Rashford up top. More than not, he's gone with that front three of, of Rashford, Lingard and Martial. He's gone with that front three. So, you know, we know that's what he's thinking is his best team. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to try and his best front three so I'm gonna have to try and give Oli the benefit of the doubt today in terms of the games are coming thick and fast I'm, I'm assuming I'm assuming that there are a few niggles and he just thought that people needed a rest because I can't I can't see that being tactical it, it just didn't work it didn't work and um, Alexis I thought again he went back into his old ways where he was coming narrow and 
again coming in off the left and not really offering much. Pogba tried, he huffed and puffed and tried to make things happen. One thing that really does concern me, again, Phil Jones, I, I don't know why Bailly hasn't started the game. I, I, I just don't get it. I, he's, Phil Jones, again, looked uncomfortable at times today um, and, 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 he, and he did struggle. Look, we've got Leicester coming up next and we've got a hell of a, a tough run of fixtures coming up today. I'm not going to stand here and, and criticise Oli too much, but it is fair to give him, you know, to, to pick up what I think he did wrong today. And like I said, I've noted that. I don't think he'll make that same mistake again. I think that the next game against Leicester, like I said, I think he goes back to that front three and Herrera comes straight back into that side for me. Um, he has to. I think Bayern needs to come back into that side as well. But today I thought Burnley, they were just comfortable for long periods of the game, long parts of the game. And it was just really easy for them, really easy for them. So, guys, drop your views and thoughts in the boxes below. I want to know what you guys think about the game um, because it was disappointing. But, look, we have managed to get a draw in a really bad performance for large parts. So let's, let's try and take some positives. Off to Leicester we go, then it's Fulham. Then, then we know what the end of February, early March holds for us. So it's going to be very difficult. A lot more tests to come. I think it's just a blip.